Bonjour! Welcome to another episode of Cuisine de Michel. I am Michel. So tonight I'm going to be trying a recipe from a site that I've never tried recipes from before. This is Heinen's.com. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, this is going to be bacon, brie, basil, linguine. Pretty excited about it. So here in the pan, you can see I've already got it uh, heating up. This is six strips of thick cut bacon that I've chopped up into smaller pieces like this. Ignore these two extra strips, those are being cooked for someone else in the house. So I'm going to cook this up until it uh, just starts to crisp and then we'll be uh, taking that out and draining it on a paper towel lined plate. Okay, so I'm getting the last bits of the bacon out of here. And once I've done that, we're going to be adding in the next ingredient, which is some mushrooms. I have cut up eight ounces, and it said button, but I think you could use button or cremony. I decided to use uh, cremony. Yeah, eight ounces of sliced mushrooms that we're going to cook here. Actually, the, recipe, the original recipe says two cups of mushrooms, but I'm not sure how you measure two cups, so I just decided to go with eight ounces because that's what comes in a package. <laughs> so we'll cook these until they're uh, starting to brown a bit. Now that we have the mushrooms mostly cooked, they're starting to brown just a little bit. We have three cloves of minced fresh garlic here. Of course, we're just going to stir that in and let that cook for about one to two minutes until it starts to really get fragrant. While you have this cooking, you're going to want to be cooking uh, your linguine pasta. And uh, this recipe is supposed to be enough for a whole pound, but I don't need that much, so I'm actually just going to be cooking eight ounces of linguine to go with this. Now, on to our next step here. You see our garlic starting to pretty much be there. We are now going to add in one cup of heavy cream. So we're going to cook this for, it says, three to four minutes or until it starts to kind of thicken up a bit. Okay, so now this is starting to thicken up a bit. I'm going to be adding into the pan eight ounces of brie cheese that we've removed the rind from, and I'm going to be lowering the heat. It says to uh, melt on low heat. Get that heat to reduce there so you don't burn. So now we will let that cook and we'll keep stirring it in until it gets melted and combined. Okay, so you can see that our uh, brie has pretty much melted into this. <coughs> Excuse me. Now this is actually uh, from the pasta cooking water. So you want to take one cup of your pasta cooking water, pour that in. And then we're going to cook that for a couple minutes until it starts to thicken up again. Okay, so now that I've got this, uh, it's, it's thickened a bit. We're going to be adding in some of our final ingredients. We have three cups, this is only one, but I'm going to be putting in three cups of baby spinach. I'm going to stir that in. I'm going to 
that to start wilting like it is. It's looking good. And then to that, I'm going to add a half cup of chopped sun-dried tomatoes. And this is approximately two tablespoons of uh, fresh basil. I just cut up what I had left, so I didn't bother measuring because I'm using up what I have. And it's supposed to be two tablespoons. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and add my bacon back in. And the bacon's already salty. It says to season with salt and pepper. I'm gonna put just a little. Of course, we can always add some more salt if we need to at the end. I'm gonna let that cook for just maybe a minute more so that the uh, flavors can get all melded together. And then I will see you at final plating. And here we are at final plating. This looks and smells fabulous to me, so I'm expecting this to be super delicious. And I thank you for joining me for another episode of Cuisine de Michel. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think about this recipe, and we'll see you next time. Au revoir!